17 p.m. We are continuing to track a potent winter storm across southwest portions of the state. Back at 6.13 a.m. What an incredible sunrise in Glacier National Park. And then we head into your Thursday. If you like the warm temperatures, Thursday is the day to get outdoors. We are in the 70s and even low 80s. This is one of the stronger ones that we're tracking at this time. And it is just off to the west of Dillon. So it'll be moving through Dillon here in the next 10 minutes. But it's not just southwest Montana. Look at this. Northwest portions of the state. There's a margin risk for excessive rainfall. This includes places like Kalispell, not only for today, but for tomorrow as well. If you're wondering when our next chance for some snow showers are, maybe you're a skier or a snowboarder, you want to get up to snowball like I did yesterday when I took this video, we do have another shot heading into your Saturday, but beyond that, there's not a whole lot in the forecast. It's not really the amount of snow that I'm concerned with. It's the rate at which the snow is falling combined with those gusty winds. I want to get a little bit closer here. There is the potential for a little bit of small hail. This is kind of in the Four Corners area just north of Gallatin Gateway, but in time, about 10, 15 minutes, it'll be approaching Bozeman. Maybe you have family or friends that were thinking about backpacking. Go ahead and let them know. Be prepared for winter-like conditions here. And this is that one area of concern. If you do have any travel plans there, I would try to maybe push it out of the window of 7 until 9 p.m. Right over Gallatin Gateway, Four Corners, we're seeing lightning. Also, the potential for some small hail with this storm as it continues to move off to the east. So look what happens when this car hits the brakes. You can see it sliding out there. The roads are very slick across West Western Montana, so please use caution. The video you were looking at behind me shows you what conditions look like in Lolo, Montana around 1 a.m. Only eight days until fall, and if you've been out on a hike, we've seen some of your photos you've sent to NBCMontana.com slash chime in. And this puts the mountains in particular in a favorite spot for some wraparound moisture and even some accumulating snow in the higher terrain. Let's go straight to Future Tracker. A lot to break down. Overnight hours, people are going to bed. Make sure to leave your phone on so you can be notified for any sort of severe weather alert that could be issued. Damaging flooding is ongoing right now across portions of the state. You're looking at incredible drone footage here from storm chasers Jordan Hall and Spencer Armlin of the Stillwater near Columbus. And here's the thing, heading into the next day, rivers will continue to rise. So I have that forecast and to top things off, accumulating snow all coming up. Flooding still remains the top concern as we head into the next 24 hours. Again, this is especially the case across portions of southwest Montana around the Yellowstone River. Water River, and then we head into those overnight hours. You start to lose that light out there. Just please use extreme caution. If you live in those low lying or flood prone areas, just stay vigilant through those overnight hours as we can continue to see those rivers, creeks, and streams on the rise a little bit as we head into your next several hours. The other thing, along with this, we could continue to see that potential for rock and mudslides. So if you do live underneath that higher terrain, keep that in mind as well. Now, the next thing we're keeping an eye on is snow levels dropping, especially across northwest Montana down to four to five thousand feet and then gusty winds as we head into tomorrow so obviously a lot to break down in the coming days but first of all right here to our record rainfall west yellowstone measured 2.18 inches of rain today breaking an old record by just about an inch that was set back in 1976 this along with the accelerated snow melt is the reason that we are seeing that flooding across much of southwest montana and along the yellowstone river this is near livingston here right over 11 feet the record 10 so we're already at record flood levels here and the forecast does have it increasing slightly as we head into your next several hours let's take a look at the gallatin river at logan right now just over nine feet that's in the minor flood stage but it will be in the moderate at flood stage right around 10 and a half feet by the time we head into tomorrow afternoon. So again, that's the Gallison River at Logan. Now let's focus in on the Flathead River at Columbia Falls. We're already in the minor flood stage over 14 feet, about 14 and a half feet is that forecast in the coming day. So let's go straight to future tracker again, still looking at scattered showers. That atmospheric river that we had pumping all the moisture into our region has really not been the primary influence today. What we have instead is a trough of low pressure across the area and this is keeping precipitation going, especially in the higher terrain, but bringing in cooler temperatures. So that's why you're seeing snow pick up here on Future Tracker by the time we head into tomorrow morning, especially in the Glacier National Park region. We have wraparound moisture from the low pressure system off to our north and east, and this means 
Snow levels dropping to around four to 5,000 feet in that area. So Mariah's Pass looking at up to a few inches of snow there at least. So if you do have any travel plans, please use caution. Fast forward to your afternoon, still looking at that moderate to heavy snowfall up in northwest Montana in the higher terrain. Maybe you have family or friends that were thinking about backpacking. Go ahead and let them know. Be prepared for winter-like conditions here. Snow levels are dropping to around four to 5,000 feet. Fast forward to tomorrow evening, really just looking at a few lingering showers, a quick shot at a little bit more mountain snow as we head into your Wednesday morning, but then things really start to clear out across western Montana. But with that snow, winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories are in effect. Let's break those down. Winter storm warning for West Glacier from now until 6 a.m. for your Wednesday. Above 5,000 feet, 3 to 8 inches of snow. Above 6,000 feet, up to a foot. And actually, above 7,000 feet, up to 2 feet of snow. So that's on those taller peaks within Glacier National Park. Winter weather advisories for the Kootenai Cabinet region from 1 a.m. until noon Tuesday, above 4,000 feet, 1 to 4 inches of snow, above 5,000 feet, 4 to 7 inches of snow. Meanwhile, the winter weather advisory for the Potomac Sealy Lake region, that is in effect from now until 6 a.m. Wednesday, above 5,000 feet, 2 to 6 inches, and above 6,000 feet, up to a foot or even a little bit more. There's also going to be quite the gusty afternoon tomorrow. Some gusts up to 35 miles per hour will be common at times. So again, just creating visibility issues over those mountain passes, especially across northwest Montana and Marias Pass in particular. But then we head into your Wednesday. Thankfully, things getting much better across western Montana. And this includes our flooding as well as high pressure sets in. 60s there in Kalispell and Polson. For your Thursday, we're back into the 70s. Now, the time by the time we get closer to your Friday, temperatures in the 80s and even 90s, 80s in Missoula, 87 in Hamilton. We will see a little bit more snow melt across the area and then rain heading into next weekend. So we will have to keep an eye on those rivers, creeks and streams yet again as we head into your Saturday and Sunday and even Monday of next week when temperatures are actually dropping into the 60s there for highs. As for the weather, more gusty winds in the forecast for Montana, along with the chance of snow, I hear. Meteorologist Jed Kristoff, he joins us live from the Weather Center. Also, it's really warm out there this evening. <laughs> it's hard to believe we have snow on the way with temperatures breaking records yet again across western Montana. And we're still well above average even right now after the sun is set. 47 in Bozeman, 49 in Butte, 50 in Missoula, and 43 degrees in Kalispell. Heading into your Saturday, we're going to have to keep an eye on this. We have a high wind watch out for south West portions of the state. Oh, and by the way, a winter storm watch there in the northern uh, Rocky Mountain front just off to the eastern side of Glacier. And I know this is a little off topic, but if you're sitting at home right now, there's only two other states where there are winter storm watches. I want you to give it a guess. If you guessed Alaska, you're correct. Everyone knows that, right? And of course, Hawaii right? <laughs> this is actually happening. There is a winter storm watch out for the summits of the Big Island right there. Mauna Loa will see up to four inches of snowfall. Meanwhile, here in western Montana, we're still under the influence of this ridge with warm temperatures, but as this begins to break down, we are tracking cooler temperatures and snow and timing it out. Coming up, <laughs> Laurel. Okay, thanks, Jed. 6.48 a.m. We're tracking the potential for strong to severe thunderstorms today after 3 o'clock across west central and northwest Montana. This green area right there is a level 1 out of 5 risk issued from the Storm Prediction Center. It's a marginal risk. We could see gusty winds, small hail, and lightning with any storms that do occur. And I do think that storms will occur on the eastern half of that, but we'll keep a close eye on our cloud cover. And also this rain right now that's occurring across west central and northwest Montana, limiting the potential for strong to severe thunderstorms where you are actually seeing that rain falling. That's why I think it's going to be a little bit further off to the east. We're looking at some cloud cover out there, but not the case in Bozeman. A beautiful start to the day. Temperatures are in the, well, 30s, 40s, and even 50s. Missoula at 56 degrees right now with a good bit of cloud cover. But check out our upper air pattern. So you need three things for thunderstorms to form. We need a trigger, first of all, something to cause them, and that's this upper level low, this trough that will be pushing into our area. We also need moisture. We have this southwest flow, and then we need some instability. The more sunshine you see today, not necessarily the better. In fact, that sunshine will increase the convective available potential energy, or in other words, 
storm fuel that we'll see across western Montana. That's exactly what we are tracking as we head into your afternoon hours. That's why we have the potential for storms with gusty winds, heavy rain, even small hail, and then lightning. These are all possibilities. So let's take you straight to Future Tracker just to give you an idea of what we could see heading into the afternoon hours. Here we are at 3.30. Now this storm is beginning to pop up just off to the east of Missoula. And honestly, this environment right in this area, places like Drummond, Ovando, I think you could see some strong to severe thunderstorms today right around four o'clock and that's kind of what future tracker is showing us as well but watch what happens as we move forward in time a line of thunderstorms here along the continental divide glacier national park region and then also out in eastern montana maybe you had plans to travel to cut bank or somewhere else out in the eastern montana that's where i think the threat for severe storms will be the highest and actually i can't rule out a couple of tornadoes in places off to the east like haver but for us here in western montana we're mainly just tracking gusty winds heavy rain small hail and frequent lightning. Now, I want to show you one other thing. Fast forward to those overnight hours. So I'm talking 2.30 in the morning. We have the potential for a strong thunderstorm or two right here in the Flathead Valley, pushing up north towards Kalispell, Hungry Horse, Glacier National Park. Certainly looking possible. Not a huge deal, but certainly could also wake you up with a clap of thunder. But Honestly, switching gears here, we are tracking just showers pretty much all day Thursday across western Montana. And you even notice a little bit of higher elevation snow. Those mountain passes could actually see maybe some small slushy accumulations. But our valley's just looking at rain and beneficial rain at that because many of our locations are still in drought conditions. You can see a half inch or maybe even a little bit more up to an inch and a half in some favored areas across northwest Montana. 66 today in Kalispell with rain and cloud cover. 70s for Missoula and Butte. Getting to 85 though in Bozeman where you get a good bit of sunshine today. And then we drop to the 40s for lows and speaking of lows that's one thing I want you to take note of going into your Friday morning 32 degrees right there in Kalispell you might want to think about covering those plants even Polson at 33 we could at least see frost in many locations like Missoula for your Friday morning at 34 degrees but the good news is this is just a one day thing because as we head into the rest of your seven day forecast those lows are mainly in the 40s and 50s and check out the highs we're into the 80s this weekend and even the 90s by next week, it looks like we will in fact be warming up yet again. So I know I've said this all morning long, but this is quite a roller coaster ride. Yeah, it's already been pretty dynamic this morning. Jeff. That's right. We've been tracking showers and downpours pretty much all morning long. All right, and you all know that Jed took two days off uh, last week. Uh, see, the deal, Jed, of taking a day off is to get away from weather. <laughs> yeah, no, not me. But <laughs> no, you go storm chasing. See, I feel like most people, they'll go to the beach or maybe out to the mountains, but I'm out here driving 22 hours round trip to go take a look at some storms. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love what you got here. C yeah, tell fantastic us stuff. And that tornado you see in the video, best part about it, it danced in an open field. I didn't even see reports of damage, so... Great stuff oh, okay. Right well, and and if oh, there it is. There's the tornado. Yep. <laughs> what what was that near? Alexander, North Dakota. It, it was in uh, Sydney, Montana, and then that whole line of storms just kind of moved right across the state line. Oh my North gosh! Dakota. And so. and I want to mention if people um, want to see more of it, we've got it up on our Facebook page here. Yeah.